Hello, uh, tacticians and strategists, fleet commanders and Viper pilots. Welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and playing Hardball. Merry Christmas, my dear community. This is our special episode for the 24th of December. And Heimerich has the honor to dispatch a Cylon fleet, let's hope. Everything goes okay because Heimerich does have a nasty cold or something. Maybe even the space coronavirus, who knows. And there is a form of D&D, &D, a sci-fi D&D goo in his brain and lungs. But we can hope that everything is okay. So let's proceed here. Yeah. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy a nice day, a calm day. Nice, together with your families. Oh, that's beautiful. So, yep, we are getting rewarded. So, and there was the question why I, I mean, why I don't use the Minotaurs uh, in a sandwich formation. Um, and the reason is that uh, sometimes if the enemy does have a... Uh, a very high posture like if the enemy is like this you know and we have two ships like like this like here then the lower one the angle can it is possible that it hits the upper ship and actually we have experienced that like in one of the first episodes I think um, where I wasn't careful, I'm not sure, I don't recall exactly how it was, but I know that it can happen. And uh, that's why I don't want to do it. But <clears throat> once we uh, have a fight with a fleet that has two Minotaurs, if you want, uh, I can make an experiment, of course, just to have a look. <clears throat> but I think uh, that it's not such a good idea, actually. But we are all about military experiments in space, right? So, and apologies for my raspy voice. Indeed, I do have something. I picked up something. This morning, I woke up like at five and uh, it was horrible. <clears throat> yeah, but you know, with enough tea and everything, everything is fine. And now we are just doing this episode here. Quickly enough without rushing ourselves. Ah, oh, yeah, so. Yeah. Let's fly like this. Not too far ahead. You guys, uh, you actually you need to go On high. Commander. And you go low a bit. And you three guys. Get a little bit of a distance. All four of yes, you launch. Sir. All squadrons and there we go now well, let's watch this like a bit from a close-up ending the turn yeah <clears throat> very beautiful it's even like the green nebula is a little bit like northern lights that are associated with Christmas right maybe Santa shows up or something there is a very naughty Santa though Oh yeah, this guy will start shooting immediately, so let's fly like this. All Vipers, defend. The Nemo sign. You guys go full attack. We shoot all missiles at the Nemesis. You guys as well. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, so I'm I'm giving everything for the community, right? But we know that men are actually suffering more from uh, a cold. It's scientifically proven. So and you are shooting your missiles at this guy as well. There you go. Ending Hostile the turn. Unit identified. Oh yeah, they are already hacking us, but we are immediately going to boost away. So there we go. Yeah, and uh, by the way, we yeah that was good. 
So he flew on the other side, the other side. Did they only bring one? Okay. Yeah. So I think we are flying here, but I think we are Understood. also staying defensive. Uh, in just a second, excuse me. Okay, well, so I had such such nice plans for Christmas and I wanted to do so much stuff and this is really slowing me down now um, yeah but that's just typical right so you guys all shot your missiles so you can actually this one here at zero and boost and we just stay in this formation and I guess they will start shooting rockets, uh, missiles now, right? Yeah, he is, all right. Oh yeah, and these guys, they are actually intercepting, that's good. However, you guys didn't think ahead because there are more missiles coming from over there. But it's fine, so we still didn't identify everybody. This is a heavy radar, but I think it's time to boost away now. There we go, those are hopefully sufficient missiles. Yeah, it looks like we will catch him in the rear very nicely, that's good. All Vipers can remain defensive for the moment. You guys, you just keep boosting forward. But the Verivan, which should be one of our rookie rangers, Shoots a nice salvo at this nemesis, so we get the missile situation under control. Yeah, so, alright. Going here, and then looking... Oh, that's so beautiful. Looking like this. Missiles there, incoming! Do we see an explosion? Yeah, very good. Fighter very squadron nice. is so. taking fire. Very nice. The nemesis is down. Repeat, nemesis is down. Yeah, and you guys just boost out of there. Now the Vipers intercept yes, the heavy radar and then you guys go for the other guys. So here we go. Our battle star shoots also at the nemesis. Brigades can't. You guys boost forward On a it, bit. Commander. And then it's fine. Ending the turn. Yeah. I also feel, by the way, that the Vipers uh, are very, very nice distractions uh, for the Revenants. That was one of the big advantages last time in this, uh, in this other battle. <clears throat> where one of our capital ships actually slipped away thanks to the revenants using all their shots against someone else. So now that there those missiles are not enough, I think, so let's have another volley at the nemesis. You guys boost forward. You can shoot another one, another volley. Let us go for this Revenant here. This will nicely crack open their armor as well. So our Vipers have destroyed the Heavy Raider, that's good. And now we are coming from behind. You guys identify this guy. Ending the turn. Okay, it's another Revenant, alright. Nemesis is has been shot in the front. More missiles come in, but I think they are yep, they are hitting the left side. Okay. We we leave all the oh, excuse me, I need another <laughs> I was uh, inhaling Japanese mint oil. That's my personal uh, secret. My secret recipe. I put a few dots uh, or drops into and my tea and that really blows through everything that's really good so now you guys who's there and then of course it's good for inhalation 
you should get this one as well. You guys boost. Because the yes, revenants commander. have too much firepower. For my liking. Yeah, no, you guys boost. Can actually boost a little bit further. As can you. There we go. It's very nice with the planet in the background. That's really nice. Ending the turn. Oh yeah, they are shooting themselves. Okay, well, looks like we have to suck those up. More missiles coming in. Oh yeah, they are. They are dodging them a bit. That's not, actually not so good. Now they have uh, the opportunity to to evade. But our vipers are doing okay. So the Nemo sign. Yeah, you guys boost away some more. But I think yeah, we are not we are not getting to the battle star in time. So we are going to brace for impact there. Ranger gets another shot at the Revenant. And by the way, let me just check something. Retreat costs 30 years. So I think that's more the, the standard cost for a Ranger. So here, and in the turn, yeah, they are collecting on the right side now. Are those go? Oh yeah, very good. Okay, that's no, fine. Okay. Oh, nice. I didn't expect that one. So no, actually, vipers, you go th on Understood. this one <coughs> because we should be able to attack that revenant from the bottom, right? Maybe we should actually start shooting some missiles over there. You guys need a bit more time. But you can actually shoot at this Revenant. And you guys just need a moment longer. So, Manticore, brace for impact. Repeat, brace for impact. <coughs> and you guys, yes, yeah. Just suck it up. Ending the turn. <coughs> oh, they are even... Oh, they are Manticore is taking damage. Those were armor piercers. But yeah, it's fine. On the left side. Yeah, you guys, it's fine that you take this one. Okay then. You guys do a little bit more yes, boosting. Sir. Although I guess that we are not going to get into the melee, basically. So you shoot at this one. And all frigates, all energy to weapon systems. Oh, we got the the uh, satellite. <coughs> Excuse me. And then here we go. Boosting some more. I wasn't aware of the other ships flew through. Huh? Engineering is not of any significance for us. Any return. That's actually very nice. We are in a very good position. Vipers just need to look around. I, I think they managed to shoot down one Viper. Wow. Okay, well then. So you guys take this one now. And then actually all our missiles should nicely hit into that Revenant. You guys go offensive. There you go. In the turn. Here we go. Oh no, they're actually. Why are they? Ah, they are losing their height now. Why are the missiles coming so high? Oh well. I thought they would hit it like in the bottom, but whatever. Oh, nice. Good. Okay, so the Vipers go for the Talon. You guys. Now we can stay offensive. Fire missiles. Ranger gets a salvo off. And the frigates need to reload. 
Okay. Any return? They are very nice. Very nice indeed. Many missiles hitting. Talon is already on fire. That is good news. More missiles coming in. I think we are we are not even shooting more missiles now. Ending the turn. More missiles crashing into the revenant. Vipers. Make short work of the Talon. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Just one. Yeah, good. All right. So they are done. And now the Vipers go for the... Understood. Last Revenant. And this is indeed the last ship. Very nice indeed. Very nice view over here. They are desperately fire, firing their heavy artillery and yeah, all of this gets the left side. Very good. Vipers are a little bit too slow. But it's fine. So, last Revenant is on fire now. Beautiful sight. Let's hope all the astronomers could see the spectacle. And there we go. All right. There we go. Christmas fireworks. Here we go. Looking at the the scene again we can be very relaxed yeah ah they shot at us okay i didn't realize actually but it was just logical so that they were in hacking range <coughs> excuse me go here yeah that's a really nice planet in the background so yeah Piercing the armor there. And missiles coming in. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All of them. Okay, so actually I I, I, mean, uh, I expected some more maneuvering from these Nemesile. But I mean we are not complaining, right? We are not complaining about the Cylons. Yeah. Not much longer that their missile abilities are reduced to zero. Yeah, but they get one more salvo out into space. There yeah, they are on fire now. Oh yeah, and they are losing height as if to catch the missiles with their top armor. That is maybe through. So our Vipers did a very nice job this time, I think. They were pretty uh, effective there. They didn't waste too much time, like flying left to right and stuff, but just stayed for, uh, on the rear. Would it be cool if the ships could actually float in space if we shoot the engine section or something? You know? Like to target specifically, or like to to pilot the ship in a way that you are coming from behind and then you shoot the engine section. And if the engines are destroyed or significantly damaged, then obviously the ship should actually not have the same thrust. Right? But, uh, maybe in Battles of Galactica Deadlock Part 2, the sequel. So there. Oh yeah. The last look into space was on the glowing debris of their brethren ship. So, last Revenant, an heavy fire of our Vipers, there you go, there you go. What do you hear, ladies and gentlemen? Nothing but the rain, sir. Good. Grab your gun and bring in the cat. Let's proceed. So, Guys and gals, I wanted to say thank you for a nice year. I mean, this year there will be more episodes of Battles of Galactica, but uh, like, you know, Christmas is a time when the year nears its end. 
and uh, I wanted to thank you. I really like this project, playing this game and the project of making videos of it and sharing the experience. And Battlestar Galactica has actually been uh, the series um, where I had the most views. Yeah, so this actually that gave me some hope uh, for the channel and everything. And yeah, we are continuing. And as you will notice, uh, there are even some more. I mean, it's all a process, obviously. Um, but there are improvements. If you just wait for the last few seconds of this video, and then you will see something new. So, and that being said, I wish you all the best. I hope you have stress-free Christmas days. Yeah, that's well, we know that many people have a lot of stress actually, which is why a lot of people don't enjoy Christmas so much, which I find sad. Um, but yeah, it's just a matter of, you know, controlling who gets, you know, who gets to cause stress. Yeah, in the end, it's just, in my opinion, it's just a thing, you know, either you let people stress or you don't. Yeah. And that being said, that is my little wisdom for today. Um, thank you again for a good year. And uh, we are continuing a few more episodes this year. And yeah, uh, if you have any thoughts you wish to share, please do so in the comment section. You know, like with the game, to get back to the game, uh, I'm always open for experiments. So when we have a fleet that does have to... Uh, uh, Nah, minotaurs, yeah, then I'll stack them and we can see, well, I, of course, uh, it will be an advantage and so far as we will have a lot of firepower there. Uh, but I don't, I, usually I wouldn't want to take the risk, that's the thing. But otherwise, obviously it's a good idea also, one of the advantages of stacking ships like that in such a formation, in a sandwich or burger formation, as we call it, uh, is that, uh, you know, the turn itself doesn't take so much time. Yeah? And then also, like shooting missiles and stuff, they all come into one section of a of an enemy ship. Yeah, and that's also a big advantage in my opinion. So, all right. Thanks for watching. I would appreciate if you click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you never ever miss an episode again. See you next time. Bye-bye.